No new calves today. Dad's gonna get feeding, doing chores by himself. I got the waters running. And we're gonna start fertilizing before that rain comes in a couple days. But first, I'd like to be able to see out of my windows. Before someone asks why we don't wash this thing, it's below freezing right now. And we're calving, we got stuff going on. We don't plant and harvest and have six months of washing tractors off. We got a lot of the world's best stuff in here. We got the world's best glass cleaner. World's best fire extinguisher. World's sexiest man. Let's do some field work. Man, it doesn't even look like there's glass there. You could eat off that thing. This one, not so much. And here we are. Jeff's house is just south of there, not that place, but the next one. And this is his big patch of grass. We got enough in the spreader to do 45 acres. It's a short load. And then we gotta load up with a different flavor of stuff and come back and do the rest of the field. snow melt. So this is the half we're doing right away this morning. You can see there's a bit of a line right there. There's a difference. Starting here and going south, the grass has a, it's kind of a mixture of alfalfa and grass. And so that alfalfa actually fixes its own nitrogen. So we don't have to put as much out there. Plus if we do put too much out there, it can be bad for the cattle. And then on that north part there, we've been putting a lot of manure out there. So there's a decent amount of phosphorus and potassium in there, but there's no alfalfa. So we can bump up the amount of nitrogen in that stuff. This is the life right here. right pretty much where we supposed to so that's nice knowing the spreader is calibrated quite right since we haven't done it since last year so we'll go back home like I said this next load is gonna have more urea and no mez in it so more nitrogen let's see how many acres we can cover today we got a few hundred to do hi doggy you're always excited when we come home aren't you Looks like dad got the conveyor part way up. It was back there, a little muddy in that area. Wonder how that went for him. Look at these bowls. Fancy suckers. Fancy, fancy. Yeah, yeah, better put some in. A freaking raccoon just ran out of that thing. Oh, Ellie! Get him! What the heck? Where'd he go? Where, Ellie, where'd he go? Oh my gosh! Did you see that? A raccoon! You just left it? I think there's a raccoon in her shed now. Holy smokes! That was the craziest thing I've ever seen. You're not very helpful. I hope you guys saw that raccoon fall out of there because that was awesome. See, there's some tracks. I know he ran this way and then I think he went that way. A, a raccoon was in the conveyor.
of the fall. I mean, it's not too high. Didn't feel good. But the other option was I waited until I was starting to fill the spreader and then it would have dropped down in the spreader and that wouldn't have been good for anybody because that thing would have had to come out. If I were a betting man, that raccoon's in there somewhere. But what a, what a, just, do you have no will or fight or excitement about a, another living animal running around? Did you know there was a live raccoon in that conveyor? Oh. Where'd he go then? I think he's in the shed now. Really? Yeah. Oh boy. But if I wouldn't have started it, it would have been, it would have been in the spreader. And our dog chased it about five feet and then she was like, yeah, I'll let it go. And then she'll bark all day in the shed. Yeah. Boy, I hope it don't end up in our compound. A live raccoon was in that conveyor. Yeah, but now it's in our shed. That's yeah. Hard. You think we can find this raccoon, Heli? Sure, he'll be in the corner of something. Where would I be if I were a scared raccoon? Must have crawled up in something. Disappointing. I feel like I got bad video. Maybe no video of the raccoon. It's probably up in there chewing on wires now. I'm gonna sleep tonight knowing there's a raccoon in the shed. Acting like I've never seen a raccoon before. It's just the most exciting thing that's happened to me in a couple days, so. Bunkers out there. Bunny. And there we are. Hi cows. It's kind of fun doing all these haylands. They're often pretty small, like this one's about 25 acres. You have a lot of road time, but you feel like you're getting stuff done, just checking stuff off the list. So this T post coming up right here. So not that one, but that one, not that one, but that one, you see how it's all bent? Ellie followed us, that's her home farm right there. It's the home place. Followed us over here to help wrangle up some critters. And we were trying to get them out of here and head them back that way. Well, Ellie thought she was gonna chase a cow over the fence that way. And I swear, I thought that cow was gonna impale itself on that T post. Ellie did a bad job that day. The cow was all right, but she ended up getting on the wrong side of the fence. Just kind of another bad Ellie story, like this morning when she didn't get that raccoon, and now with her chasing this cow over the fence. At least she's cute and friendly. Friendly to us, not, not the mailman, but. Make sure we still got that chance of rain coming. It's 80% still, 70%. 80%. I'll be feeling really bad if we don't get this rain. Last pass here, then we'll drive around where the cows are at right now.
I can get used to this Brian opening the gate deal. It's pretty nice. There's a fella here right now looking at our shoot and alley on the other side. Those are getting sold March 31st on BigIron.com. If you type in the search bar there for Brian Sonny, I think you'll find everything that's listed if you're interested in. We're selling the tub, alley, that shoot, and also a mister and a few miscellaneous items. Looks like you have a bill. Oh. Beverly made cupcakes, so we got to get that Tupperware back to her. Throw the station. Yep. So I got to fertilize a hayland of about 35 acres, and Cole said I could take the camera with me and while I do that. And I got over there and I was having so much fun, I forgot completely about the camera until I was leaving the field. But I will give you the song of the day, and we're going to, you know, I'm not 100% rock and roll. I like a lot of other music too, and today's song of the day is Ronnie Millsap, Smoky Mountain Rain. Have a listen, I'm sure you'll enjoy it. I still can't believe a raccoon fell out of that thing this morning. So we got four pairs ready to go. Our goal was to get that semi empty, which it is now, so we could get the next stuff in. Because today's Friday and we don't want to make people work on the weekends. Brian was having such a fun time fertilizing. He didn't remember you guys, but I just want you to know I'll never forget about you. You're my number one. I thought I was your number one. Mm -hmm. yeah. Feel too bad, guys. He told me to call him when I had a minute, and I called him, and he didn't even answer. All right, so we got four more pieces to fertilize. One of them's like three acres, so they're it's a bunch of smaller stuff. We'll get her done. Semi's coming pretty soon to load that semi back up. And I stepped in a lot of calf poop, so it's gonna smell in here. I guess the cows think the weather is too nice to calve. It's beautiful out here. It's like 50 degrees, slight breeze. They're waiting for that rain that we might get on Tuesday. Nice square piece of grass over at the south farm. suppose any of you guys know anything about fertilizing huh <laughs> last pass that probably took oh that might be bumpy that probably took 10 minutes to do run across that short piece we'll time this next one this three acres it'll be a breeze getting a little personal here as many of you know Tiffany and I just got engaged in our wedding we have a date is November 4th and after then we will move into this house here at the South Farm a lot of people have been asking where are you gonna live is she excited to move in with your folks <laughs> Oh, you guys make me laugh. Here we are. Okay, ready, set, go. And done three minutes and 33 seconds I can't say it's a record because I've never timed it before but that's pretty fast look at this guy dad coming on clutch with all the gate opening and closing you're the man
Last two pieces of grass at Kenny's. We got this one, it's about probably 15 acres. And then right next to it is another 10 acre piece or so. That's not just a rock, that's a boulder. out there we saw a raccoon a jackrabbit now there's a coyote running across that pasture and we got pretty young calves right in that building site there that could even just spook them through the fence that's not good <laughs> there's a bit of moisture down in here oh we are chucking water now last hayland Hey buddy. Are you aware there's a coyote running around over here? You gotta go find your mom. There's a coyote. You're in a hostile environment. Where's your mother? So we've had one heifer and one bull. 73. Yep. That don't add up. Yeah. That is 73 and that is right. Hmm. Okay. I'll take your word for it. Uh-huh. You're gonna have to, I reckon. Another successful day at Sunny Frames. Mm -hmm. And I'm sure it was kind of boring because it was just Cole sitting in a tractor. And not that fun guy. Yeah, because he forgot about you. I was having too much fun. But we do have something pretty awesome coming here soon. It's going to be very destructive. You know, oh. you know what I'm talking about? Yep. Yeah, oh. <laughs> it's pretty sweet, huh? I had to think about it. Yeah, that's going to be fun. Yep, so stay tuned. Hit that subscribe button if you're new here. We'll see you next time. We're expecting rain Monday and Tuesday. That's why we're fertilizing. Yep, I yeah. talked about that. No. Have a good one. That's all I got. Bye. Got the food leaking out of it. Anything? Good way to end the day.